Hello and welcome to Histories of Blast. We just finished a walkthrough of one of the campground loops at Raccoon Creek State Park here in Beaver County, Pennsylvania, west of Pittsburgh. And I'd like to share that with you. So stick around. Raccoon Creek State Park is located about 30 miles west of Pittsburgh on the Lincoln Highway, U.S. Route 30. Its origins date back to a popular and prosperous 19th century resort, Frankfurt Mineral Springs, which went out of business in the early 20th century. The location of the resort is encompassed by the park boundaries today and can be reached by one of the many multi-use trails that crisscross the park. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, the Raccoon Creek Valley became one of the five recreational demonstration areas in Pennsylvania under the Federal Emergency Conservation Act, which created the famous Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC. If you've swum in a lake, hiked or camped in a state park anywhere in the United States, you probably ought to thank the CCC. Between 1935 and 1941, some 700 young men at two CCC camps here developed a 7,572-acre park, including a 101-acre lake and log cabin-style buildings in National Park Service rustic architectural style, many of which survive today as recreational administrative and maintenance buildings and have been on the National Register of Historic Places since 1987. The National Park Service turned the park over to what was then Pennsylvania's Department of Forests and Waters in 1945. Today, after the usual history of change in conservation slash environmental politics that marked the mid to late 20th century, Raccoon Creek State Park falls under DCNR, the Commonwealth's Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. In addition to camping, boating, fishing, hiking, and swimming, Raccoon Creek State Park features a large wildflower reserve and about 5,000 acres are open to hunting in season. Okay, we're about to turn into the campground area, so here endeth the lesson. The campground opens on April 15th each year and closes in mid-October, but only loops E and F are open during that whole window. The others are apparently only open from mid-May or maybe even Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day. Well, we are at the entrances to the campground loops at Raccoon Creek State Park on the 29th of October. The campgrounds are closed for the season. And even though the gate to the uh, dumping station area, which is right there, is open, the gates to the campgrounds are locked. So we're going to walk back there and we're going to do a little reconnaissance because we're planning to begin our 2022 season here in Raccoon Creek State Park. That was my horn telling me that the doors were locked. So, good. Okay. We're going to check out the F loop, which is the pet friendly loop that opens in mid-April. E is the other one that opens early in the season but it's not pet friendly, so we're gonna check out the F loop. So you have to go through the E loop to get to the F loop. And we've just walked around backwards through the E loop area. And we're coming up to the entrance to the F loop, the pet area. Pan the camera down through the woods with all the undergrowth gone for the year. It's nice and clear through here. Looking down, it's a one-way clockwise road. The sites appear to be well herringboned. And uh, there's the bathhouse down there. And we're gonna walk along here. We're on the, looks like we're on the, the glide path to the Pittsburgh International Airport. There's a airliner passing over us. And this is nice, There's a, the, none of these are full hookup sites. They're either uh, primitive 
or electric only. And you have a, a potable water spigot where you can stop and not block the road as you're entering the loop to top off your fresh water tank. And there's a potable water uh, a hydrant at the uh, dump station too, which is at the entrance, which we, sh you know, out there where we showed you walking in. Here's F1, that's not an electric site. Looks like a doggy do a, a dumping place over there. <clears throat> kind of mono colored back in here. There's a couple of orange trees, but mostly yellow or gold. I don't think we've come to any electric sites yet. So we're going to go over here into the 26 through 35. We're in the electric site areas now. There's the bathhouse roof sticking up over the horizon back there. Twenty-seven is a little bit slopey. Twenty-six looks okay, although it's on a little bit of a slope too. Actually, the slope looks like from left to right. That's 29 there, I think. It's on a little bit of a, everything's on a slight slope. Although, yeah, 31 looks nice. That's got a good spacing. And with woods in the back, yeah, that's nice. Now, I believe. 34 is a handicapped accessible. There's two handicapped accessibles and they're right near the right near the um, bathhouse. Yeah, that, see the tables? Oh, okay, okay. Well, there, there's two handicapped accessible sites and they're right next door to the to the uh, bathhouse. And one of these also is, is basically not available at all. It must be a camp host site. Look at the fake plastic rock covering up the utilities. That's pretty cool. You see the air vent down here? <laughs> oh, there's the lid. There's the lid. Yeah. Okay. Okay, walk on down here. <clears throat> oh, is that the host? Oh, I can't, there's a sign that says campground host. Okay. F21 looks kind of nice. Of course, it's right across from the parking area for the bathhouse. The wheelchair logo for the ADA oh, okay. accessible site. Okay. Yeah, they've got more of a flat area off to the side where the Oh, yeah, and it's paved. It's all it's all it's all paved, so it's it's wheelchair and walker accessible. That's good. Doesn't get muddy. There's an electric site F20, which is a short site. That's a short site. Here's the other, this is the other ADA compliant site. Okay, so these are the two, okay. There's your pet walking area down to the beach trail, which goes around the lake, I imagine, since it's called the beach trail and there's a big lake with a beach here. It looks like we have expended the available electrical sites. These are all, the rest of these sites, heading back toward the entrance to the loop, are no utilities. So we'll walk back down, continue away from the bathhouse, coming from the ADA accessible campsites. 
And there's the and there's a road to the amphitheater and to the Heritage Trail, which is one of the hiking trails here at the park. It's kind of nice down there, isn't it? Boy, the foliage is just gorgeous today. It's too bad the sun's not out to really show its brilliance, but even with the clouds, it's just, just good. It's just really good this year. Last year was earlier and brilliant, a little bit longer. This year has been shorter and later in the year. But nevertheless, God's colors are out for humans to enjoy before winter sets in. Well, that's the available electric sites in the F-Loop here at Raccoon Creek State Park. Walk back out through the fall foliage to the gate. One last look for the year at the foliage at Raccoon Creek State Park from the GoPro anyway. And boy, no pets beyond that sign. <clears throat> They're strict out here where they will allow pets. Now this is one of the two dumping stations from the car window. And we just, we've never noticed this before, but uh, one of the, I guess the reason the gate to the main area here is still open is that you don't have to actually be staying at the state park to use the dumping station. You can pay a fee, there's a fee of $10 for residents and $11 for non-residents. That's not much of an advantage for a Pennsylvanian, but any hoot, that's nice to know information. Uh, and there's also, a, I believe that, yeah, that's a potable water station up there at the end. Coming out of the campground area and turning left, it's a nice winding drive down to the lake, which also has a beach and swimming area, a boat and canoe rental facility, and a really neat dam, which is where we're going to wind up. How to tell an eagle from a vulture. That's important bird spotting information. Here at the dam and spillway, Raccoon Creek State Park. That's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll take time to view some of our other ones.